So I'm going to show the exam and how we determine if they have luxating patella. So basically, we want to do it while they're standing because then all of their muscles and tendons and ligaments are actually tense because they're, they're holding the body up against gravity. So basically what I do is I first just take a little weight off of the dog and I am just taking my fingers on either side of the patella and I'm moving it just back and forth a little bit. And it's not a lot of pressure, it's very light. I just want to see how it's sitting inside the groove. And then I'll do it with a little flexion. This is flexion of the knee. And then I'll do some extension of the leg. While the patient is in extension, that's when I will again move the kneecap to the inside of the body, to the outside of the body, to the inside of the body, to the outside of the body. And if it's going to luxate, if it's really easy to luxate, it's going to pop right out of the groove. And you'll be able to see it and you'll be able to feel that, how it is stuck, especially on the small dogs, on the inside of the leg. So literally that kneecap will be on this side of the, of the leg um, or large dogs, it'll be on this side of the leg. In other words, medial luxation? Medial luxation on the small dogs, lateral luxation on the large dogs, typically. Not all the time, but typically. And then just the other side, I do the same. And so I take a little weight off just so that I can see if there's a lot of looseness. Laxity means looseness. Okay, he's good there. I'll also go in flexion a little bit. You can see the knee is bent. And then I'll extend the leg. And I'll take, and again, I'm just kind of rocking it back and forth. It's not a lot of pressure. I